Hey, have you ever either used or even heard of an electric golf caddy? If not, I want you to pay attention to this video because we're gonna take a deep dive. An electric golf caddy for a golfer is a perfect blend between riding in a golf cart or carrying or pushing your own golf cart or carrying your own clubs. And a lot of people for health reasons cannot carry their own clubs or even pushing them with a push cart. It is actually really hard on your lower back. I've got lower back problems, so I never even considered it. I haven't walked a full round of golf in a really long time, but I'm looking to get into a little bit better shape and shed a few pounds. So we started looking to these electric golf caddies, doing some different field tests, doing a lot of questioning with other people. But in this video, I'm gonna do the first full round using an electric golf caddy and I'm gonna let you in on it. We're gonna do an unboxing first for one of the hottest golf companies and electric golf caddies there is called MGI. Their Zip Navigator electric caddy is blowing up like crazy. I have a lot of friends that have it and absolutely swear by it. They've used a lot of different brands. So we're gonna go right after the best and we're gonna field test this thing and I'm gonna be completely honest with what I like, what I don't like, and if this is worth it for me to try and lose a little extra weight or whether it's gonna be worth it for you, I'm gonna let you in on everything unbiased as always. And if we like it, we'll probably decide to sell it on our store. If not, we're gonna scrap it and move on. That's how Golf Intel works and we're gonna get started right now. Hey everybody, it's Brian Z, golf professional for Golf Intel. And like I said in the beginning of the video, we're gonna do a full unboxing on the MGI Zip Navigator. Just got it from FedEx, super excited. I wanna get this thing on the golf course as soon as possible and get a full review for you guys to see if these are really worth it. Some guys, you know, really love them. Some guys say it's too much of a hassle. They're hard to follow, keep track of, it's a distraction. I've heard all of the excuses. I wanna try it for myself. It's been a long time since I've had my hands on one of these things and technology has come a long way. And when I get to the end of this video, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret with this company, MGI. This is a great company and um, it is here domestic in the US, getting huge, huge good reviews on this piece of equipment right here. And again, something uh, they let me in on a little secret coming. But let's get started. We're gonna unbox this thing. I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna go ahead and as you can see, it's not even unwrapped. I have not opened it yet. And then once we start putting it together, we'll fast forward and uh, see how it goes. See how easy, it's supposed to be really easy to put this together. And uh, we've got some instructions here. We're in the golf simulator today, but we're not playing any golf in the simulator today. We're gonna try and go get some exercise and see if this sucker is worth the money. The uh, MGI is, uh, I just got in with the company and um, because of how many positive reviews I've seen on this thing, especially from personal friends of mine uh, in the golf world that have tried many, many of the other caddies and decided on this one and they're kind of getting them in, in bulk. There's so many people wanting these things. So I decided to go ahead and start doing all the research and this is the company that I wanted to test the most. So here's the battery pack, pretty cool. It's a 24 volt. 380 watt uh, lithium battery, battery, which is supposed to last quite a while. We're gonna test that out too, and we're gonna play some rounds of golf with this thing and not charge it. We'll see how long it goes. And looks like this thing's pretty well assembled right off the bat. All right, that's the body. Looks like the charging pack here. Get that with a full charge. I'm really interested to see how long a full charge lasts on this thing, because I've heard some really good things. A couple of wheels. I've got a, uh, looks like a, came with the accessories pack, so there's some kind of clip here. Looks like an umbrella holder. Could come in handy. Getting back to walking the golf course. Got a wheel here. We've got a drink holder. Obviously gonna be, see, so make sure it fits my beer in there. Yep, looks like it'll fit. And we've got another wheel. Along with wheel covers. This thing came with wheel covers. Right now, they are touting uh, putting in the accessory package for all new purchases. Well, if you are a day-to-day -day player and you put this in your car, you're gonna to want to put these wheel covers on so you don't get your car all dirty. Oh, there's one more piece in here. Looks like, uh, not sure what this is. 
Looks like a cell phone holder. That's kind of cool. So you can clip your cell phone onto the cart. Looks like it expands there. Clip it onto your cart. Keep it front and center. We all use our cell phones on the golf course for the most part. And then we're going to open up the body here. One of the things that's, um, you know, uh, that we've seen on this unit is how light it is. People love the fact that they can get it in and out of their car without uh, overstraining themselves, you know, being able to get it in and out of the car on a day to day basis. Um, so this is very light. I'm not even straining and I'm on my knees. So I'm not, this is extremely light. The battery's not on it yet, but we will uh, we'll see what that does. Looks like we've got a couple of clips here. There we go. So this, this little latch here kind of keeps it folded in half. We undo that latch and bing, there we go. Now a couple of things about this unit Boy, I think this looks pretty easy. It looks like you put the wheels on and that's about it. So you just pop that off. There's a little button you push to allow the wheel to go all the way on. These are just covers right here. Push this little button, get it to lock in there, and we're good to go. That's it. Okay, so all we're doing Beyond that, there's another piece of plastic here. We'll get this sucker off here. That's that. And then we're gonna unfold. Looks like there's a little bit of a stopper there. Now here's here's another thing. Oh, we're just gonna reclip the clip. So this, this little guy right here looks like everything. So we undo it to unfold. Once it's unfolded, you relock it down and you're good to go. And then we've got the bag straps here. So fit it to your bag. The one thing that I did hear about this and other uh, people's opinions was that, was that it uh, isn't the best with a carry bag. So you want, you definitely want to trend towards a cart bag if you can. That it seems to sit on this a little bit better. We'll scoot back a little bit here. So this has some maneuverability, and we'll put a golf bag on here to show you a couple of things that to note. This front wheel is uh, two wheels wide. As you can see that, that front wheel there, it's very wide. That's good for stability purposes. So here's another thing. They kind of hide the remote a little bit. There's, a, there's two yellow stickers. You can see right there and there. Two yellow stickers, one of them. It says remote control is located in the holster in the block of the frame. Oh, just comes right out. There's the remote control. I'll zoom in a little bit. That's the remote. Okay, looks pretty simple. Lock, unlock, forward, back, left, right, and stop. And we'll get a good, good view of that on the golf course, obviously. It's really thin, much thinner than I thought it would be. I thought these remotes were a bit thick and chunky. It's got the belt clip on it. And other than that, really a thin remote. So you're gonna be putting this in your pocket or clipped on your belt somewhere so that it's easy to grab. And we've got lock and unlock, see they're already lighting up, so it's charged. Looks like it's a, oh, it is a chargeable, rechargeable. So we've got that on the remote. Okay, something that I just figured out, and I knew one of the most important things about these trolleys or caddies is a is a is uh, basically a fourth wheel back here, so that when you're going uphill, this thing doesn't tip over on you this way, because then it'll fall down and you'll be in, in big trouble. It's not very apparent when this thing comes. You can see it's actually underneath the unit. So you have to release that extra wheel, and there we go. As I tip it, you almost can't tip it over. You'd have to be going straight uphill. Okay, so that's pretty cool right there. And there's a sticker right here on the handle that tells you where that wheel is located. And then we can go ahead and remove these. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna take the battery. Battery goes right here on the back. Okay, installing the battery unit, pretty simple. It's got a little handle here, it pops out. We're just gonna take this sucker, put it right on the grooves. That's it, done. And then you can see, I'll bring it in here close. You can see, hopefully, 
that there's a little LED screen there, LCD, that's telling me the distance, the mode, well, meters or yards, and then we're gonna set the yards, one yard, two yard. We'll stop, it tells me my battery strength there. Okay, and it uh, looks pretty cool. Nice looking screen, nice handlebars. These are uh, rubberized and uh, overall feels really good. But again, the, the feedback that I've gotten so far is use a cart bag on this thing, not a, not a carry bag. So we'll go ahead and load up a bag real quick. The reason you don't, I grabbed an old carry bag here and it will set on here like this, is the reason a lot of these carry bags don't work very well is because of the kickstand. So it doesn't sit real flat. You can make this work on this side. Strap that in there, strap that in down here, but your kickstand is gonna wanna kick out and it's not the greatest. So if you have a carry bag, it will work. I don't think it's as stable as if you had a carry bag. This is adjustable right here. And it's just, you know, you want a, a little bit thicker of a cart bag. And I think that would be good to go. Yeah, here, this gets a little bit looser or a little bit tighter, depending on which way you pull it. So that's adjustable. I won't waste our time today, but that's what it's gonna look like. And it already, I bumped the button, it wants to come backwards on me. And I believe you can adjust the speed. And uh, we're gonna get more into that when we take it on the course and demo this thing out. But I'm super excited. I wanna start walking again. And I think this is gonna be a great option. So we'll get this thing right on the course right after this. Hey, well, before we wrap up this video, can you please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button if you liked the video? Also, feel free to comment on anything that you liked or didn't like or that you thought was cool or not cool in this video. Also hit that subscribe button and that little bell icon so that you're notified anytime we come out with another video. So thank you so much for this. I will put the link to the next video where we take it on course and do a full testing in the description here. Make sure you jump over to that video if you're further interested in how this thing performs on the golf course. We're gonna do a lot of different things with it. So thank you so much for watching. Brian Z for Golf Intel. We will see you in the next video.